Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Backcon uh, Service Department. We're out here today with one of our combo units. Um, we're gonna do some uh, quick tips on uh, stuff we can check if we have a uh, loss of vacuum on our Backcon machine. Uh, one of the things we wanna check for is in the boom tubing, we wanna make sure we do not have any blockages um, such as rocks, uh, bricks, um, especially up in our 90. Um, if we get something stuck up there, we're gonna lose a vacuum. That might even mean taking the Canaflex hose off and looking up in that 90 and checking it. We also want to check the Canaflex hose up top for holes, uh, wear and tear. Um, the 90 is uh, spots for uh, wear and tear too to get holes in the 90. We would just want to make sure that all of our boom tubing is uh, does not have any holes in it or wear and tear in it. Next we will uh, move to the middle of the truck. Okay, now we are at the middle of the truck. Um, again, we want to make sure we continue to check any Canaflex hoses over here. We also want to check the 90 going into the plenum box, uh, whether it's a PD blower or a three-stage fan. We just want to make sure there's no holes or abrasive wear down in any of these 90s. Um, we can also check the seal back at the plenum box. There is a seal back there. Um, we can just make sure that we're not losing vacuum through the seal. Also, we want to check our cyclone separator. This type is actually a round style pull out cyclone separator. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's not full of debris um, and we can wash out any anytime need be. Um, we also have a cyclone separator that has a square box door. Um, it's just a different style that we offer on uh, different trucks. Um, we also want to check our in and out box. Um, we want to make sure those seals are good. The way to do that is to raise the tank up, put some grease on there on all three stages, lower the tank back down and raise it up and make sure you have a, a good imprint on the debris tank side. Um, while you have your debris tank up, you want to check the vacuum breaker doors for any debris caught on those doors, maybe, maybe plugging the vacuum there. And next we will move uh, around back to the back side of the truck. One thing could be is uh, if somebody has left open or opened the gate valve or ball valve on the back of the truck, depending on which kind of valve you have, we could have lost vacuum through there. Next thing would be is the door seals. Um, we wanna make sure that the door seals are closing properly. We could also check them like we check the in and out box with putting grease on them and closing the door, make sure we get a good imprint on the tank side. Um, Another thing could be is that if the door was left open, because um, we do recommend leaving it open throughout the evening to let the tank uh, air out because it's made out of core 10 steel. Um, next thing we would check is our tank screens inside our tank. This is very, very important as if these get clogged or dirty, we will lose vacuum. Um, safety issue wise, um, for your safety and others, we do have a prop. Whenever you're checking, doing these checks, we want to ensure that our tank prop is in place for your safety and others. Uh, one other thing I do want to point out is um, our tank prop. You can see here, we have our tank prop up. Uh, you might not have this particular one, but we want to use some sort of tank prop um, when doing our checks on our in and out box seals or if we have to get under the tank to work on the truck. Um, that's about it for our quick uh, checks for loss of vacuum. Uh, if you do still have problems after all these checks, uh, you can get hold of your local dealer or you can get hold of us at the VACCON service department. Thank you for watching the video and have a good day.